had my eyes set on this little area uh, for quite a while. So we have our town back here. We have the farm guild over there. And there's this flat area of plains right by the river here. And not much going on with it. I finally had an idea. Well, I've always had an idea for it, but I never knew exactly how to carry it out. And I got an idea over over the break while I was away for um let's get let's let's clear some of this grass while we talk about this. Well, I was away for the holidays. Excuse me, something caught in my throat. Uh, while I was away, uh, <laughs> I, I I was. Uh, watching anime with a friend. What what we we're doing was uh, watching pilot episodes only. And I'm not a huge anime guy. Like I'll, I watch a few, but I'm definitely not. You know, I I've only have seen like a few series in full. Anyway, so we're so we're watching pilots only, and we're on Crunchyroll and uh, just like flipping through, seeing what looks interesting to me. And I stumbled on Aaron, which seems to be a pretty interesting show. I'm only one episode in, so I can't really say if I recommend it or not, because it's definitely going to take more watching to figure out if if it's worth watching more of. Um, anyways, animes are really good <laughs> sources of inspiration. I mean, just think of how creative guys like Miyazaki are. And, and his creative team, um, a lot of animes have a lot of little things that you can uh, get inspiration from. And I was watching the show, and this, there's a shot of a house. And there's there's a few shots throughout throughout the episode that, are, that show these houses. And I thought, well, it's kind of similar to what we have over here. It's, uh, you know, it, it's made mostly out of stone, or it's made of stone. And it's got a thatch roof. But the thing that I thought was really interesting was instead of, let me see, let's go over to this building over here. Instead of an overhang with the thatch, it was like the walls went up around it, around around the roof. So I, I think that that's going to be an interesting concept to throw in over here with a water wheel. Now I'm looking at this and realizing... We're probably gonna have to dig away some of this ground because a water wheel is not gonna work well <laughs> in one high or one deep rather water. So I'm gonna tear away some of this and then I'll be back with hopefully a floor plan made out. Sometimes you build something and it just sucks. I like this a lot better. Um, water wheels are kind of awkward to build in Minecraft because of the square nature of the game. Uh, but the only thing that you really need to pay attention if you build this is I made sure that the direction of the stairs or paddles made sense. And then I used, used little uh, trap doors to to do the the middle and then yeah kind of uh put stone there to show that it was built to to let the water flow by there and whatnot and anyways that's the water wheel not really the main th thing that we're building today i i did think uh what if what if we brought this all the way across had row like multiple water wheels and then had that connect to this wall over here but i think that that would kind of require an overhaul of this wall and this pathway because it'll look weird if it's just going into it and i think this will be fine anyways let's get to work on the one more stone the uh this thing so uh how am i gonna do this i made it pretty big because the roof itself is going to be inside of the parameter of the walls, which means if you make a a three by five house, normally you would have a five by seven roof if you bring it out one. 
but it's going to be brought in one. So that would make it a two by, or no, that would make a one by one by three. So um, that that's not very good. So we're going to bring this up. And how high do we want it? I do have, oh gosh, I do have an idea for how to, it needs to go up further than that, at least in part of it. Maybe we could make part of it higher than the rest. The, 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 um, hello, words. The picture that I'm using for reference, uh, is kind of like uneven. They're, they're really like, they're kind of like ruins in the picture, but they're uneven walls, sort of like that. Let's have a way in and out. And then let's grab a lot of slabs. I am going to mix up this, uh, this brick with cobblestone and whatnot wait a minute let's put not there let's put it on the do we want to put it on the corner Ooh, did i not make this Ooh, i made this an even number look at me go what if we do this um we got to bring this out this wall right here now I'm just staggering everything here, and I kind of want to fix, I kind of would rather have this be a half slab, more gradual there. That's all right, that being not as gradual. And then, how are we gonna do this? I just realized if we put the roof here, that's gonna put hay right there. Perhaps we could bring the floor down one. Yeah, let's actually do that. Let's bring the floor down one and up here. Oh yeah, I remember now. I uh, There used to be a hole here and it did not look very good. So I covered it up and now it's back. All right, we have a little way in and out. Not exactly finished with <laughs> decorating it, but that's gonna be our door and we can have a step down into this, which I kind of like. For some reason, when I see steps down into low buildings. I think it's like an industrial building or like, like uh, there's gonna be like power stuff in there. And this is kind of one of those kinds of buildings. So let's get our hay on the hot bar. And so it's gonna get placed like that. It's not quite that simple placing it between the gaps though. So let's let's put some dirt there. And I'm just gonna fill in like this. So stepping back and looking at it, it kind of looks a little puny. So what I'm gonna do is just bring up this largest layer of hay um, up one. It's just gonna get. So is there a tool that cuts down hay faster than any of the others? Nope, just gotta do it nice and slow. And I've got a quite a bit of work done here. You might notice uh, that a new tree, a little tree. Uh, I've actually, I've done quite a few things. So let's let's start with what we left off with. And that would be this right here. Now, this building's pretty ugly. <laughs> it's, it's really ugly and I think that's okay. Not every building needs to be really nice. And like I said before, it's kind of industrial building, right? Like power's being created here or whatever. They're having uh, this this wheel turn for is not necessarily pretty that's okay but with that said we've talked about in the past how you want to build things with the idea or with the concept in mind that when you come to a new area come up these steps you want the most eye-catching thing to be the you know important things and you want things that aren't important to not be so eye-catching so I came up here and you walk around here before, before this was to the left all alone. It was like, bleh, here I am. <laughs> this was what your eye caught. It was very demanding. So I put this tree here and there's a little bit more work that I did. Let's go down here and look. There's a few pathways down here. And we'll actually walk over here and look at those. So one of the one of the pathways I put a stairway here and it's not done yet. But the other one, I really like this immersion uh, surround 
uh, path pathway work and and stuff like that more than building buildings actually so um there's one on this side uh probably this will look nice once we finish this house and this this hillside will get dressed up but um made a big tree here and actually i didn't have to touch this up with leaves at all this is how it grew and if you haven't seen i just put a five tall pillar of cobblestone and then put a sapling in front of it and bone meal it and then that's how it came out sometimes they don't look so good but this one did look pretty good then i have this little uh bridge here pretty similar to a bridge that i put in my 10 bridge designs video which is almost at 5,000 views which is pretty good for me that's that's really good for me i i still get like 50 views a day on it uh then you know, I did a lot of terraforming here. Let's actually go and sleep. Do I have? Yes, I have ender pearls. I went and farmed ender pearls, and then I'm always hesitant to use it because I don't want to waste them. But um, I got them for a reason. So uh, specifically for getting around faster in episode zoo. So, let's get back over. Hwa! My aim still leaves a little bit to be desired. So, anyways, I brought this up here. And then there was just a hillside here, and it was pretty boring. We can put more houses over here, have an extension to this town. And and then this won't be so attention-grabbing even still. But I, I brought this land out and then walled it off here. You can see dirt still growing back in. And just put a little uh, spot for hay. We can probably put, you know, bring this path over here. I'm actually going to show you really not much method to it but i'll grab some coarse dirt sprinkle it in you know i try to place these randomly and i've realized i was working with world edit on my own and i realized you can do a command to like select a region and then replace it with a certain percentage of some blocks a certain percentage of other blocks when i randomize things i have a tendency to do it like a block here a block there a block there pretty evenly spaced i noticed when you actually randomize it it doesn't do that it like you'll get spots where it's largely one block or largely another block um that's and it, and it does look more noticeably randomized maybe especially on larger surfaces but anyways i'd bring this over here and then oh uh, let's just bring this back when you're doing stairways going up it's a really good idea to have them set into the dirt or into the ground instead of on top of the ground and we'll just put in like that and then i don't really want well that can grow to be grass that can grow to be grass that'll be fine i don't really like that there so then we can put a house up here another episode that's not gonna be this episode we can put a house here, and then this can seem like their personal little storage. That'll be a good good spot for a house, actually. But anyways, yeah, this thing does lead to here. And there's nothing in here, but it is finished. Oops, hello. And then have a walkway up here again. We could probably fit, like, six houses up here comfortably. Maybe more. You know, we go this way, and we're up in extreme hills. And it's pretty flat up here, but uh, sheep. I do you see how I just flew past him with like sheep? Sensitivity is a little strange. Anyways, I also got one more thing done for this episode. I like this this area right here. It's not good when you have a finished building and then just a hillside. That really wasn't doing it for me. So I knocked back that hillside. And then you just have dirt, so I put a lot of stone in there, like normal generation would do. And then put that tree, and then plants, and then we could really go all out. Let's actually do, since there wasn't a whole ton of building on camera, I guess there was a little bit of building. We did do part of that, that windmill. Let's go grab some sugar cane, and I wish that I had some... Uh, uh, lily pads? Yeah, that's what they're called. I wish I had a few of those, but I don't. Okay, 10 or 11 should be plenty. 
it's it's the foliage and the and the plants that really bring this together because I'm clearly not going to build a building here but more could be done so if we just go something like and these can go four high or even more because it's going to grow up to three on its own I think even if you place it do they grow yeah it should and some over here and then let's just put that there dress up this hillside because this hillside really is kind of ugly still and ooh, we could put bushes here and i like to put them in the water like that let's do that even put one no 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 that one was i feel like that one was fine and let's 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 look at it see if we improved it much yeah that looks fine to me that looks completely fine that was just just a hill before and now so so we'll pretty much give these hills that same treatment once the, these houses are done um just so i know what i'm working with because i might add offshoots of the houses and right now these are just very rough placements of it um the other thing i did well that went way over that's okay i keep doing that and then trampling <laughs> my wheat there uh i finished a good bit of this Let's actually get into creative mode and fly on up. I connected this. Now this is pretty boring here. This could probably use, hmm, we didn't really use any foliage up here. I wonder if this could be an exception in this area. Maybe, so I feel like something needs to go here. I didn't put any windows because I don't really know what's gonna be over here. Although this is probably gonna be a hallway. So there can probably be a window there. Or whatever but we'll have to revisit that i think that would actually actually screwed that up oh there goes our ender pearl that would actually go like that that looks a little bit better i think i don't know anyways i did connect this wall to this tower and i also did i finish this tower i did not finish this tower but i brought the ceiling back so now the only thing left to do here is finish the bottom of this tower which is going to be Pretty much the exact same as the bottom of this tower and this tower. So that should be easy. And then figure out, finish the back of this tower and figure out what we want to do on this side. It's probably just going to be a flat wall or relatively flat. I never use just totally flat walls, but something like this. And then we have a nice thing going here where we have the ground raised up. So we don't have to do a whole wall. <laughs> we can have the wall or the ground come up to it so it won't be as much work but the exterior of this thing i also need to figure out this i don't think this looks quite right maybe slant it back more i feel like if we went like that it just wouldn't look right either this actually doesn't look so bad i don't know some some work required there then this wall i'm when i built it i said i wasn't much of a fan of it i'm still not uh, that's probably gonna get replaced and then whew, then this area out here needs to get touched up on. But the exterior of this thing is almost done. This is this will be the biggest building I've ever made in Minecraft Survival. So pretty excited about that. Pretty excited about this little area I've made here. Made this part of the town a lot more interesting because all of our interesting stuff before had been all the way over here. Now we have some stuff on the other side, so it's not just you come and visit the Farmer's Guild and then there's nothing left to see. You can come over here and there's there's quite a, quite a bit more stuff to explore around. Anyways, guys, that's episode, I think, 53. Thanks for watching. Bye!